Lisa, it's only my father that calls me by that name. Who is it? Who's there? Show your face. Who's there? I'm the son of my father. Who's there? Father? Who is Lisa? Many men in many races can donate themselves to women. Many of such men die between the ties of women. But that is not the portion of a son of the popular. Who is that? Why must you learn that which I never taught you? Why? Um, fa Father, I was caught in the web, and I did what I, what I had to do. Now I, I I'm, I'm wondering in, in in the great beyond. I don't know what lies beyond the darkness. Hey. Moisa, I call you Moisa, which means son of God. I don't know where you got that name, Fenna. This holy chain is a gift that will lead you to fame and fortune. Guard against unnecessary mistakes that are associated or inherent to women on your way to fame and fortune. We shall be well with you. My sons. Hey. Oh. Father. I just want to tell you to forget about what happened. Mm. All right? Yeah. Uh, which is why I wanted you to have this vacation in the UK. <laughs> Thank because you. Because I believe that the future is brighter than today. Oh, yeah. yeah? <laughs> Maybe I need a big hug. Well, that's more like you. All right. All right, then. You have a safe Make flight. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay, my dear. Bye. Thank you. Safe flight. Okay. As soon as you get into England, call me, okay? I will. Yeah.
Excuse me, sir. I have a word for you. Please come. Speak up fast if you need anything from me. I am running behind time. You think you are running behind time? But you are running into danger. You think you are running behind time? Somebody called you on the phone and said you should come down to the land that you have been saving for your son. Don't go there. Go back to your house. Danger looms. Young man, please be more explicit. Can I be more explicit? That land is your land. They are invaders. They will go on their own. Now, if you value your life, don't go there. <laughs> they sent you, eh? They sent you to come and stand here like a superwoman, eh? To discourage me from going to deal with the invaders. You have got it all wrong. No! I am going to, to deal with them. I'm going there to deal with them. Your name is Annette Billy. Yes. And the person that called you on the phone is your brother and he means well. There are some things you will not want to see. I am telling you. Abort this mission. And go home. You know my name. Who are you? I am Waolisa. Waolisa. A citizen of Iboko Kingdom. And I am here to invade and correct the evil manipulation of men. Yes. Udo. Peace. Go home. Just take a good look at this. Is this not beautiful? It's yeah. fine. It's and okay. the, the mask will be erected there. Over the there? Mask, yeah. Okay. And um, the digital room will be here. Here. Yeah. Right? Then, um, okay. then the, the main house, office. the main building will be there. Yes, the office yeah, exactly. will be there. Yeah, exactly. That's the uh, small tree there. Exactly. Okay. Then, I'm looking at the main building. That's the, the office. Yes. Yes. office. Here, at the center. Okay. Yes. And fine. We have it. Fine. Uh -huh. But the issue now is that the owner of this land has refused to sell it. So in this case, what do we do? Very, very simple. Simple? Very simple. Very simple. We kill him. If, 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 him. Who are you? And what are you doing in my land? Get out from here! I can see you don't want this the easy way. Eh? And I'll give it to you the hard way. Now you leave this. Hey. No. Get out! Let go! Get out. Okay, stop this! It's not fair. I have already introduced myself to you, and I'm convinced that you can help me. I know you can. See what is up. I am an Ibachima. I'm from this town. I know how my people think. I also know how to think. I'm very much aware. I won't need a place I can lay my head. Well, if that's the only problem you have, I will offer my place. It's not a wonderful place, but if you can manage, you'll go there. I don't have a choice. It will be my pleasure to spend the night in your company. Okay, in that case, let's go now. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, good night. How much?
much is it? I called my brother. Don't call him. And if he calls you, don't give him a message. You know about the message too. <laughs> Who has been talking to you? Who's telling you all this? The witches in your family are at work. They got you to call your brother because they know you're the only one that can convince him to come back. <laughs> Sir, who are you? They have already shared his flesh in the spirit. And the minute they set their eyes on him, die within seven days and people won't understand why. If you love your brother, do not call him. Okay. I'm not going to call him and I'm not going to send him the message. They will press hard on you to convince him. But if he doesn't return, the witches will die one after the other. One. Till almost midnight. I was looking for a house for you, but thank God I eventually found one. Awesome. You felt concerned? I was looking for a house for you. You see, I don't even know why I feel indebted to you. But I feel you are a very important person. Where is this house? Is it far from here? No, not really. It's close by. Well, you have to pay a thousand five hundred naira for a month, and if you get on like a mat, you know, you sleep in your house. The seer I met yesterday. <laughs> oh, no, no, Ichi. You're mistaking him for someone else. He's not a seer, he's my very good friend. As a matter of fact, he's the person that will live in the room you promised to rent out. To be sincere with you, I changed my mind when you left. And I decided not to rent that room out again. But having seen the young man who is going to live in that room, I've decided again. To give the room out. Yeah, thank you very much, Chief. As a matter of fact, I don't even know why you had to change your mind. He's a very nice person. 
You understand? But the most important thing now is that we have the room. Now I thank you for that. Young man, all you told me yesterday happened exactly the way you said it. When I got to my land, I saw some men measuring my land. And when I confronted them, one of them pulled out a gun and started firing me. As I sit here now, I am still surprised as to how I managed to escape alive. Very surprised. Very important. They are gone. And they are gone forever. I told you not to go there, but you wouldn't listen to me. You must thank God that you are alive to tell your story. Okay. Come, let me show you the room. I am not sure of a whole lot of things, but the dream I had last night, it was at least terrible. But as many right, that something sinister, something awful is about to happen. We must nip it in the bud. Mm, sorry, Your Highness. I think the elders cannot do anything about it. The ideal thing to do is to gather the seers of this land and to be able to interpret the dream that troubles the king. And do you think you can assemble the seers tonight? I only require your approval and I will bring them right here this night. Then I'll go immediately and bring them. Thank you, Your Highness. I'm waiting. There is a charm you have around your waist that you got for a particular purpose but it is doing something else and I came back purposefully to tell you that that charm is your problem Melissa don't tell me what Ichinebeli said was true are you actually a seer? What it will cost you to destroy that charm will be far, far higher than what it cost you to prepare it. <laughs> Do you know why I'm laughing? You are talking about the money I'm going to spend to destroy the charms. What is giving you the impression I want to destroy the charms? Do you know the volume of sexually transmitted diseases that the girls in this town have around their waist? That charm is what I am using to protect myself. See, I don't want any stupid girl to come and give me one disease or the other. No. I think you're just wallowing in ignorance because that charm cannot prevent venereal diseases. <laughs> so, how come? I mean, how come I have not contacted this? All this why? You've been lucky. Okay. Well, that's the charm now. That charm that you so trust is the very reason why you don't succeed in anything that you venture into. And I want you to understand you need to take that charm Destroy the charm, and you will be on the path of progress. Destroy the charm. I don't understand why this man is getting at me as if I'm from the outer space. Why don't you get down to business and do your jobs to see us? Yeah, Majesty. Tell all this your dream and we shall interpret it for you. I'm afraid I'm not going to do that. You tell me the dream and let the interpretation. Tell the king that there is no seer who can see in this fashion he's suggesting. Seers must be guided before they can see. 
no, no, your highness that means if the seers i have are those that are to be guided ahead of time it simply means i don't have seers uh, no 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 your highness you have powerful seers we have interpreted several dreams in this land we're only pleading with you to tell us this your dream and we get it interpreted ojemba your highness get across to the uh, town crier that he should see me tonight and then First thing tomorrow morning, he must make an announcement to the entire kingdom that I don't have seers. No. What I have are men who are parading themselves as seers. Your Majesty, I inherited this gift from my father. It is unfair for you to say that I'm parading myself. Here. Enough of that. I am giving you four days from now to prove yourselves by telling me this dream and interpretation, or else I'll banish you. From the masquerade cult of this kingdom. As we were there, Luan. Your Highness, thank you for the option. Yeah. I've had enough of this nonsense. Confirm that you both are witches. Wait, well, what did you just say? You said we are witches? You call us witches? Look at me very well. Mm? I am divinely protected. You cannot get me and you cannot get Chinedu. Now go back to your members and tell them, those who have shared Chinedu's meat ritually, tell them that Chinedu is not coming back. He is not coming back! What do you mean by Chinedu is not coming back? Eh? The family is going to sink. If he fails to come back, then the family should go ahead and sink. Who cares? You think I won't know it? So you think I won't know? Your plans has been exposed. It has been exposed. This your evil eyes will never see Chinedu again. I thank God I've told him to relocate to the land. So if you like, blow your rubbish by air. It will not get to him. Bet me. Bet me! Hi! Hi! Now, listen to me. Listen and listen attentively. I want you to get into your score. I, I believe you are among the people that are listening to this idiots that move around calling fire, fire, fire. I want you to know what we face here is mightier than fire. And if you don't take time, I put it to you, Mati that there is nothing stronger than the blood of Jesus. I tell, shut up and listen. What is the matter with you? You are the only person he listens to. Eh? You will talk to him. We do. He will not listen to us unless you are involved. Eh? So call him, tell him to come back this month or else. Chinedu will never come back to this land. Your evil eyes will never see Chinedu until those that shared his meat spiritually are no more. They will see their deaths before him. You will see your deaths before him. Get me. So what are you insinuating? You are, so you are calling the, the elders witches? So you are you open your mouth, pointing your hand, calling us witches. Now listen to me. Now go back to your members and tell them that Chinedu is not coming back. Now listen to me. If you ever come to this house again, fire will burn you. Find me. Let's go. What are we doing here? I saw you with Matt and was touched. A good looking young man like you should not sleep on Matt. That's all I can afford, sir. Um, I don't have money to buy a mattress or a, talk about a bed. That's why I asked you to come. I am going to give you bed. In fact, I'm going to furnish your room. I have this feeling that you are not an ordinary human. I want to give you all assistance I can afford. Didn't you hear what she said? That she will forever be indebted to Molisa. I don't know who he is, but I know that he will be the intruder that exposed us. We don't know the man, and we don't know his location. That is the problem. But. I'm convinced that he is in this land. We have to end him now. 
or else he will expose us more. If he's in this land, let's do it immediately. Thank you very much, sir. Hi. There's danger in here. This land is a land of witches. But they have just touched the tail. Forever been indebted to you. Were you confronted by some people? Oh yes. And your mama and uncle Guna just left here now. You see, <laughs> I have confirmed they are real witches, as you said. Something tells me that they will not live to see tomorrow. Mm? They have ignited their own death, and they know it. Do not tell anybody what I have told you, because I am new in this land. Udo. Uh, wait. What is it? Mark told me you now live in Ichi in the village house. Can I? Can I come see you later? Like I said, I am new in this land. And I'm standing on one leg. Too many things are being monitored. So guard against the evil forces that have been unleashed. You need to be spiritually activated to ward against these evil forces. What's wrong with you, Native Doctor Oba? Why don't you want to collect your charm back? I don't need it again. Why are you so unwilling to take it back? I made this charm for you. It was registered in your name. It remains your property. You cannot abandon it here. I know it's my property. I paid for it. But I don't want it again. I just realized I don't need this to protect myself from venereal diseases. What I need are condoms. Or better still, abstinence. I want this thing destroyed, please. That is what you, you, you should say. And not to ask me to collect the charm. It is your property and you paid for it. You must pay for its uh, destruction. Okay, how much am I going to pay? 20,000 naira. Eh? You are not serious. How could you demand 20,000 naira to destroy a charm? I only paid 400 naira for the preparation. That is preparation. And this in one is destruction. It's stronger than preparation. You are mad. I can see you are hungry. Take your sham. I don't need it again. I don't need it. If you're hungry, tell me. I'll give you money to eat. I'll feed you. Now I know you are hungry. You are really hungry. You should have told me. I will dash you money to feed. I'll give you money. You are demanding 20,000 naira for a sham. I only pay 400 naira. Something's wrong with you. You are retarded. You are old. You are hungry. Something's wrong with you. Is this not the same charm I left with Oba? Does it mean I can't have peace in this land?
have asked him to collect back his thing. But he refused. He was demanding 20,000 naira for the destruction of a charm. I only paid 400 naira for the preparation. What do you want me to do? I just abandoned it with him there, only to come back home to see the charm waiting for me by my door. Can you hold yourself for 21 days? Eh? I don't understand. I hold myself as, in, as how? Can you not lie with a woman for 21 days at least? <laughs> nah. 21 days. That's like eternity. You know I love women. Mark. That's the only way forward. You hear me? If you can lie without the woman for 21 days. I will set this charm ablaze. And that will be the end. Finished. But there is a danger. If you do lie with a woman before the 21 days is over, you will go impotent for life. Are you ready? Do you agree? Yes. Set it up, please. please. the best council meeting ever held. I heard that the king declared that we don't have CS anymore. And that's why I have come to you. Do you know what that means? The king had a terrible dream that is still bothering him. Okay. And they could not give you that information? That's not the issue. The king insisted that the seers must tell him the dream first before they start the interpretation. Why would the king do that? Why? That is not the standard. How can you say you don't have CS while you have not narrated your dream to death? The king is very desperate about this. He said the only way he can be sure they are seeing anything is if they can tell him the dream before the interpretation. Jemba, <laughs> don't you think that the king is deviating? Interpretation of dream has a standard. You have to narrate your dreams to the seers and they will give you the interpretation. That is the standard. We cannot allow the king to introduce draconian standard in a bad land. You know what? Ichi Nebeli, you are a member of the cabinet, that you are among the ruling council. Go to the king and tell him what you think. I'm not the king. 
and I cannot make decisions for him. Okay, well. I'll go to the window. I'll see. I'll be in a better position. Well, aren't you going to look at your watch? It's getting late. You should be heading home. I don't want to go back home. I'm scared. I don't know why. I can't go back to that house. Can't I remain with you? Oh no. That's impossible. You cannot spend the night here. My auntie and uncle that confronted me died mysteriously along the way. I'm scared. I don't want to go back. Please. I can give you all the assurance you need. That you will sleep in your house tonight and nothing will happen to you. Can't I stay with you? See, I promise you, first thing in the morning, I'm out of this place. I cross my house. Please, just let me spend the night here. Please. Guide against unnecessary mistake that are associated or inherent to women on their way to fame and fortune. No, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, okay? You, you can't spend the night here. I'm very sorry. You have to go home. I have my reasons. Telling me that you're not concerned about the announcement made by the town crier this morning. I did not call you to discuss the rubbish announced this morning by the town crier. I called you to discuss the way forward. What is the way forward? The announcement made by the town crier has belittled us. It has made us irrelevant in the eyes of the people. We must fight back. Yes. Some forces descended on me yesterday, and we are flogging me. It was like I was born in. I think we must travel to Ube. He will tell the king the dream and we will interpret. Can that one work? Let me see. <clears throat> okay, I'm going. I'll get back to you. Thank you. <clears throat> Just to stop wasting your time. The announcement that was made is irrevocable. The truth is that we don't have seers in this kingdom, whether you believe it or not. But in my magnanimous spirit, I am prepared to allow them two more days of grace to see if they could come up with something about the dream and interpretation, failure of which I will have no option than to expunge their names for the least of men who are masquerades in this kingdom, and that I must do. Do I have your permission, your highness, to bring in someone who is not from this kingdom? Why not if not? As long as the fellow will tell the dream and interpretation, of course he or she is welcome to the palace. But I think it's high time I also dealt with this issue of moral laxity that has pervaded this kingdom once and for all. Okay, your highness, I'll get back to you. Yes, just before you step out, uh, Ichi and everybody. Don't forget to come back with this here like you promised. And then some cabinet members, because I'm being constrained to outlaw sorcery in this kingdom. Because if men cannot say what the problem is, of course they can't be trusted to solve what they don't know. Your Highness, I'll do exactly that, sir. Now you prepare outside. I want to leave them out. Yes, you can. I recalled you seers at the instance of some noble men in council who advised that I should give you one more chance. The onus is now on you. Are you ready now to tell me my dream and interpretation thereof? Your Highness, we greet you as a great king. We're already planning to visit Ogbe. Seers know themselves. And we are used to working together. A man from Okwe will tell us your dream. And the seers of our land will tell you the meaning. Yes, uh, it's your uh, Before we send our seers to Okwe, mm. we have a man of Iboko Kingdom in our midst. 
We have to call him and see if he could tell us the dream and the interpretation. Please call him. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I bow in greetings, King of Abaji Kingdom. Please, listen to your dream. You were walking on the road deep in the night. And you saw a pot buried halfway in the earth. Smoke was emitted from it. And going into a strange decanter placed at another point, you moved closer to behold the sight. But the pot changed into a coffin. You halted at the side of the coffin. Now the decanter vanished and the pot that was originally buried halfway into the earth appeared in its position. It is now in a fountain, sprinkling water into the air. And the weeds for the first time, your majesty, you've seen in your life, we're laughing. This is your dream, your majesty. <laughs> Wonderful. You, you, you see, the man of Iboko Kingdom doing what my so-called seers couldn't do. Huh? Now, can any of you interpret this dream? Wonderful. Um, I am sorry, Your Majesty. But you had an evil dream. Mm -hmm. yes. He said the wees were laughing at you. And they are clapping. That is a huge abomination. Yes. Wees cannot laugh at the king of Abaj Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Elders and council, you just heard the spokesperson of the seers. Instead of accepting that they are incapable of telling this dream, they now conspire to call it an abomination. Isn't that ridiculous? Your huh? Majesty, we have not conspired. What I am telling you is the fact. Nothing but the truth. You had an evil dream. That cannot be discussed. Oh, I see. Just ignore these pretenders. Please go ahead and interpret the dream further for me. May your days be long, Your Majesty. I can say with all authority that your dream is not evil and has no abomination attached. <sighs> this land is about to experience years of abundance. The pot that was buried halfway into the earth is the grave of your late wife. And she is uncomfortable. That is the smoke you saw so uncomfortable that she came out. That represents the coffin. She is now a fountain of living waters, pouring blessing into this land. Mm. If only your majesty 
you would dig up her remains and rebury her in the position of the decanter. This responsibility must be placed on your trusted seers. The weeds. The weeds are the children of this land. This land will be so blessed and watered that the children will have no reason to cry. They will smile and laugh and laugh all through. Wonderful. <laughs> Do you know what, Saint Helen? You're a different woman. I wish I could learn your ways. Because I can't tolerate most of the things you tolerate. <laughs> Amaka, what were you expecting me to do? Hmm? Banter words with people that I know that are not of my class? Of course not. You are not getting my point. The way you kept quiet, even in the face of provocation, means that you make a good leader. You know, you're trying to make me remember what I'm fighting with so hard day and night to forget. I wasn't just a leader or like a women leader or something like that. I was a leader to both men and women. So why would I want to exchange words with mere busybodies simply because the table turned around? As far as I'm concerned, that table will turn around again. Knowing you is the best thing that has ever happened to me. You're a real woman, you know. <laughs> no. I wish I could be like you. Well, well, now slow it down, okay? <laughs> now that's enough, girlfriend, okay? Look, it's not as if I'm trying to flatter you, right? But truth of the matter is that you're also a red gem. You know, I'm also learning things from you, just like you were learning from me. I mean, you know the saying that says that um, iron sharpens iron? I guess that's why we are very good friends. So can I get you something to eat now? Anything with a little bit of class. I don't eat anyhow. All right. <laughs> the seer said we must trust a seer to do this. My problem is who do we trust? That's not going to be a problem at all. Well, if you care to know, the man from Iboko Kingdom is coming to stay with me in the palace. It's going to take over that responsibility. Sorry, Your Majesty. Do you think it is proper for us to trust a stranger with the responsibility of exhuming the remains of the late queen and transferring them into another grave? There is nothing wrong with that, absolutely. Remember, I am king, and one pronouncement makes a stranger our chief priest. The man from Iboko Kingdom, whom I say is coming to stay with me, will be saddled with that responsibility of exhuming and reburying the late queen. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Yes. Why if you say so? Don't conclude that. Ah. I know myself. I don't have self-control. See, I'm fasting for 21 days and I have not gone halfway. Listen, Mark, I am not here for that kind of talk. So what are you here for? Fine. Ah. Come back. Ah. Mark. I will give you everything I have in my account. Please. I want you to help me talk to your friend, Wuliza. You see, uh, ever since I set my eyes on him, uh, it's been very difficult for me to forget him. I have this strong feeling. Something tells me he's the man for me. Please. See, is it not right you go and talk to him yourself? At least you tell him what you want. Mark, I have done everything within my powers to get this man, but... You leave him alone. Leave him if he's not working. Leave him. Oh, don't, don't you know that that, that guy is not an ordinary person? 
Maybe he has delved into the spirit world and seen that you're not the right person for him. Hey! I said don't, I'm fasting! Okay, sit. Sit down. Sit. Mark. I beg you in the name of God, please help me talk to your friend. Please. You see, uh, you seem to be his closest friend right now. Please, if you can do this for me, I will forever be indebted to you. I beg of you, please. Mark, please. O okay, okay. I I'll, I'll do something. Maybe I'll, I'll talk to him. See, I I'm not promising you anything. I'll simply tell him what you said. Thank you very much. Thank you. Naba, see you, Naba. Hi. 21 days fasting. I have not gone halfway. And you people are here with your temptation. Do not work. 21 days. A brand new one. No easy. No easy. Though I don't know much about the Boko Kingdom, where you hail from. But I can tell you that living in a palace. It's a great honor here in Ibajiland. The king has prepared a place for you. Why not move in there? I have a history that I'm not willing to discuss with anyone. I have lived in the palace. And I don't want to live in another. King Akumbawarubo is a very benevolent king. Though I don't know the palace where he said you lived before, but I can tell you, there is no palace. You will get the comfort you will get here. Young man, move into the palace. He asked me for the assistance to transfer his late wife from one grave to another. I have done just that. And I can assure you, Unprecedented prosperity is coming to this land. As for moving to the palace, I am not willing. Well, I will not force you into any rushed decision. I'll give you time to think about it. Think about it. Thank you very much, sir. I'm not going to comment on the meeting that you had with women that are looking for men to warm their thighs. Just know that this man from Iboko Kingdom is not available for that rubbish. There's no other way to pay me back for all the good things I've done for you. See, these women are ready to pay me money. They are ready to give me good money. I'm not saying you should love them. It might not even continue. Just do it for my sake. I mean, even if it is one one round each. Yeah? One new each person. Just each person, one new. Then leave everything for me. You will watch me sit down and suck them. I'm very disappointed in you, Mark. Very disappointed in the way you've spoken. What is coming to you is true. You need to guard against women of easy virtue. That way I can assure you that you will be by my side when the fortune comes. Seers in a badger land sit down on the mat before the king. But that's not the case in a Boko kingdom mm -hmm. where seers stand before the king in other words, seers greet the king in the book of land while standing. Half water can is. You see, I'm not placing you in charge of this kingdom because yes. you greeted the king standing. No. Rather, I'm placing you because you have proved to be spiritually beyond mortals. And so, my gentleman, I'm saying it shall be well with you on 
are for market day. He said, It shall be well with you on Unko market day. He said, It shall be well with you on Eke market day. He said, Of course, it shall be well with you on Orie market day. He said, Therefore, on behalf of the council members here gathered, I formally welcome you to this palace. Once again, welcome. Nice. Very worried. Uncle's condition is getting from bad to worse. I have this feeling that he's going to die. I'm equally bothered. So what do we do now that the doctor said that they don't know what the problem is? I guess we don't have to lose him completely. Something tells me that. Is going to make it. <sighs> Although the ailments look incurable, I'm making my contacts. Just waiting for the solution. We've fasted, we've prayed. I guess all that is left is just to look up to God, have faith in Him and wait for him to show us what to do. Give us some sort of divine healing or something. You said you have a message for me, I'm all ears. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, can we have some privacy, please? Okay. Yes. There is a matter that you didn't handle properly. There is something you didn't handle as a kin, and your ancestors are very disappointed. What matter are you referring to from my house? Princess Prisca, that has just returned from her long vacation abroad. Yes, yes, what about her? She was getting married. I saw people everywhere making marriage. Then I saw the groom before my very eyes. Then he vanished. Your Majesty, what happened? Where is the groom? 
we lost the young man on the eve of their wedding. It's unfortunate. I saw it clearly. Something similar is about to happen, Your Majesty. And you have to deal with the matter. Otherwise, it will take away your most precious treasure. My daughter is the most valuable thing I have on this earth. And I love her more than my own life. Are you trying to tell me that something sinister is about to happen to her? Your mother appeared to you on the night that your daughter was delivered. She asked you to do something, Your Majesty, and to date. You still haven't done it. She is the one killing the suitors. She has killed one. She will kill another. Yes, I agreed I forgot to do what I was asked to do. But why is my mother killing men that want to marry my daughter? Does she want her to remain single forever or something? There is a cup of oil that you picked up from your father's grave on the night that you ordered the death of the lady that desecrated the masquerade court of your kingdom. Am I correct? Is it correct? Yes. Where's the cup, Your Majesty? It's right in my room. Good. Your Majesty, I need you to do something for me. And you need to disregard your status as king because your daughter's life is at stake. I will do anything to save my daughter from dying. You will go to the stream first thing tomorrow morning. Make sure you are the first to arrive. Fetch a pot of water and let your daughter bathe with that pot of water. And afterwards, pour the cup of oil on her. That will stop further death. It will advert any further death. That is what your mother asked you to do. And you did it. But your majesty, it is never late to obey the dead. Well, you consider it done. I must assure you that before the cock crows, I must have returned with a pot of water. It's an assurance. Thank you, your majesty. Thank you very much. Who was that guy that um, welcomed me on behalf of my father? Oh, his name is Molisa, and he's not a god. He's actually the second in command to the king. Mm. I don't understand. Where is he from? He migrated originally from Iboko Kingdom, and after he proved himself to be a bigger seer than all the seers we have in this land. Your father pronounced him a complete citizen and placed him in charge of the palace. Hmm. No wonder. No wonder I couldn't, I couldn't look him in the eyes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he intimidated me with his art today. And, and, and to think I almost misbehaved before the guards. Did you notice anything? <laughs> you are not the only one so captivated, Your Highness. He has so charmed all the women in this land that they are always talking about him. So are you telling me he is into women? Oh, no. No, never. All the women want him, but he doesn't want any of them. He is so concerned with the progress of this land that some of the times we have to remind him that he has not eaten. He's always thinking the way forward. I see. Hmm. Wa Olisa. You know he means the son of God. But why would they give him that kind of name? <laughs> I don't know, Your Highness, but that name is always guiding his life. And he's always behaving like the son of God, too. I see. You may go now.
Come in. I bow in with you, Your Highness. I forbid you! I forbid you ever addressing me as royalty. I'm a simple citizen as you are. I'm sorry, but it was the king's order that we address you as a prince. What do you want? You have visited us from our key. They came with a sigma. Sigma? Why would he bring me a sigma? I am not from a key. They are convinced that the man will be healed if you say. Make them comfortable. I will be with them shortly. Yes, Your Highness. The ritual we performed this morning was actually revealed to me by my mother the night you were born. But somehow I forgot to do what I was asked to do. That caused the death of that young man. Now that you have showered with the holy water from the stream and anointed with the oil of my father, you are now ready for marriage. My being ready for marriage would depend on the man. And what are you talking about, Princess? Silas Okafor, the son of Silas Okafor, Transvanity Limited, is the man you've always wanted to marry. And because of him, he came back from London. Anyway, if you must know, I've taken care of uh, what killed the former suitor. You are now satisfied for marriage. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Father, but I will not marry Silas. Princess, what has come over you? Nothing. You, 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 you change your mind all of a sudden? After having told me on the phone how excited you were with the arrangement. The seer you employed is the man I want to marry. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you say such a thing? We've monitored this young man for months. I would never see him with a single woman. Even the elders agree that he's the eunuch, which perhaps explains why he has all the powers. So why must you marry a eunuch? He has not been with another woman because he knows that the princess of Ibajiland will not share her man with another woman. That is why he has kept himself. So that explains why he is not an Enoch. For a man who has not identified with you, has not shown interest, nobody has ever seen him discuss your case anywhere, how do we now trust a princess at somebody who has not shown interest? It's not possible. Let me warn you, love at first sight can be very Disastrous, you better think twice. What happened? Hey, where am I? Where am I? Who are you? You were brought here by some people. I still haven't even met them yet. Don't worry, have a seat. I'll send for them. Go Thank on. you. 
God. Just bring in the people that brought this gentleman here. Yes, Your Honor. I like you, Maneka. And I think I can trust you. I can confide in you. I must marry the Chama. Are you serious? What about Silas? He came to see His Majesty, the King, last month and he gave all the maidens and the guards 20,000 naira each. If he wants, he can as well give all of you 1 million naira each. Doesn't bother me. I have been charmed by the charmer. And he is the one I must marry. <laughs> I don't know, Your Highness, but this is going to be tough. The throne has already committed itself to Okafo and family, and I doubt how we can handle this. Maneka, it is all right. Case closed. I am the princess of this land, and I can always get whatever I want at any time. Molisa is the man, and I am the wife. Uncle, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I can't come back to Aki with you. I'm staying back. Why? What are you doing here? Uncle, you will not understand. To see that man that just healed you. He's my fiance. Uncle, I've looked for him for so long and... God, none have found him. I just can't let him go. I have to stay back. I'm sorry, my dear Helen. Don't you think you're making a mistake? Didn't you hear that the guard said that he doesn't touch women? <laughs> Amaka, you don't understand. He doesn't touch women because he's been waiting for me. That is my man. Look, you don't expect him to go chasing after other women. Look, I'm sure you heard when he said I should wait for him. And that's exactly what I intend to do. How can I stay without you? Oh, Amaka. You can always come to see me. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me to find the love of my life. No oh God, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but thank you for being sick. Thank God. And you know, God made it just look like the sickness was so incurable. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been here. You know, it just has a way of doing everything right. I'm just very happy. I hope you're all happy for me. Yes. Happy. Um, I just have to run along. Have 30 minutes to be at the meeting venue. You see, Princess, you are my daughter and I love you so much. I've never denied you of anything. Neither do I intend doing that for foreseeable future. But you have to see reason. You cannot marry Ngolisa. The young man is a confirmed eunuch. Father, 
I am sorry to disappoint you on this issue, but I don't want us to waste further time on this matter. I am committed to my words, what I said earlier on, and there's no going back. Father, ever since I met this guy, I have not been myself. I appreciate the fact that I've never begged you for anything without getting it. Yes, Princess, but this is a different matter altogether. Father, there is no difference. I am not a slave girl that has no say. I am the princess of this land. Father, I have a right to change my mind at any time as the princess. Father, I love Silas, but... Father, I don't want to marry him. I am not myself. I am in love with the man of God, Molisa. Please, 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 Father. Make this happen for me. Make this man marry me with your powers. I cannot use my good offices to effect that. I cannot. You want to know what it means for you to marry a eunuch? Father, what will society Father, say about it? I know you can do it for me, please. My brother, just come and weave at them. Ordinary weaving. See, a lot of women are outside there paying me good money just for me to link them up with you. They want to sleep with you. I am making good money from them. Please, just come out. Ordinary way, you know. Nothing more than that. Eh? You see, I want them to have this impression that I can always bring you anytime, anywhere I want to. I want them to, I want, you know, I want it, to give me this. Ma, I want you to listen to me. I didn't come here to discuss that nonsense. I am the son of my father. I'm not into women. Oh, of course I know. Yeah, I'm not into women too. You know me now. My fiancé is around and I want you to take her to my room in town. I will join her later tonight. Did you say fiancé? How come you never told me you have a fiancé? I already told her you would pick her up. Her name is Helen. Get her from the Royal Lounge and take her to my room. If she needs anything, provide. Because that you don't. Anything for you. But please, my brother, don't forget that. Margo. Be careful of the words that you use with Helen. She's a very intelligent lady. She will read meaning into every word that you utter. Just do what I have said. Make sure you tell all of them what I said. Hello? Hello? Come. You can go now. It's honest. I bow and read to the spaces. There is no need for that. You are not a guard. From what I gathered, you are the second in command in the chain of authority in this palace. So leave the protocol for the guards. Well noted, Princess. May I be of help? Are you busy? No. Is there something you want me to carry out? Yes. I want to engage in a private talk with you. Now or later? No. If you don't mind. Sometimes the things we seek within lie somewhere between mountains far away. And we keep searching all around, thinking we can't see. When we can see tomorrow And love keeps playing with our hearts Here we are Who is this woman you are smuggling into my house? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah, her name is Helen. She is Molissa's fiancée and she came all the way from Aki 
and Molisa had asked me to open his room for her. You said Molisa's fiance? Yes. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. How is Aki? Aki is fine. I'm really flattered at your hospitality, sir. Oh, no, your fiance is a good man. Mm -hmm. Mark, take her in. All right. Let me finish for that. Thank you, sir. That's my landlord. Very nice. Love will find you. Love will find me. Priska, what I don't understand is why you would say I'm an Enoch. Are you not aware that everybody in this palace knows that you don't mingle with women? I came to this palace to do a spiritual work. Now my capacity as that will be questionable if I decide to mingle with women. Well, I told them that you are aware that the princess of Ibadjiland would not share her men with other women. Do you agree with me? I agree that any man who is lucky enough to marry you, not only here in Abajiland but all over the world, should be very content. Should not desire another woman. What I don't understand is how does this concern me? A lot of men want to marry me. But you are the one that I want to marry. Are you saying that just to see me smile? I'll be pleased to see you smile for me. You know, ever since I saw you, I have resolved that you will be my husband. Princess, I am honored that you see me good enough to be your husband. But that will never be possible. And now that I have freed your husband, you can marry him in peace. Wait. I don't love that man anymore. You are the one that I love. And I am consumed with your charm. I am nothing without you. Princess, let me just get this straight. I have a fiancé that I love and I want to get married to. I'm a man of my word and I will never disappoint her. Excuse me. You remember the song you used to sing back in those days in Iboko? <laughs> that God works in miraculous ways. I never really used to understand the meaning of that song mm. until now. You know, I just. I just believe that God used my uncle's ailment. As a decoy to bring me back to you. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Yeah, same with me. I was so very excited seeing you. Didn't you notice how? dumbfounded I was when I saw you because you were the last person I ever expected to see. Okay. So, what you're trying to tell me is that if I hadn't come to this town to look for you, you would not have come looking for me, right? It's not like that. I would have. It's just that you're not happy I am. I missed you with every passing day. I kept myself just because of you. So much so that they call me an Enoch. Really? I am so happy. Now we are back together again. Show me. <laughs> hey, tomorrow a friend of mine is going to come pick you up. Take you to town and buy you everything that you need. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure I really need that? Come here. 
Chi and everything. I sincerely right. summoned you because you were the one that introduced me to this palace. You are right, Your Highness. That is the problem I wanted to help us solve. Problem? Did he do anything? Uh, well, not exactly, but you're aware that the princess is back to the palace. Preparatory to her marriage to I mean, uh, Silas Okafo of Amogugu village. I'm aware, Your Highness. Uh, we are getting prepared. <laughs> we are excited. But there's a snag. Snag? Princess told me in confidence that she's no longer going to marry Silas Okafo. Why? According to her, that Morisa, whom she just met briefly, jammed her. As a result, he's all over her. So what do you want to what do you have to say about that? This is complicated, Your Highness. Molisa's fiancé came all the way from Aki. Did you say fiancé? Yes. But I thought the said he's an eunuch. I don't know about that, Your Majesty. As I sit with you right now here, his fiancée is in his room in my house. And he personally told me that this beautiful woman, I must, I must say, is his fiancée. And you are sure of what you said? Yes, she's in his room and in my house right now. Why are you looking for trouble? I've told you that I'm new in this town. I don't know any man. Which man could you possibly be talking about? That man you are parading yourself about as your fiance. He's already engaged to our princess. And so, I came to advise you as a fellow woman. Take your filthy fingers off the man and disappear from this town. Before the warriors of this land will cut you and use you as a fishing bait. Hold on, sorry. Um, I don't know if, if you know my fiance. But his name is Ferdinand. But you guys call him Molisa here. Could it, could it be the same man you say is engaged to your princess? Hmm. Their marriage has already been approved by the throne. And there is nothing a reef rat like you can do about it. So, leave this town as a normal beautiful woman or disappear into the belly of carnivorous fishes. Why has my daughter suddenly become stubborn? Father, I am not stubborn. I am just following my heart. I cannot marry Silas when my heart yearns for another. But I have been reliably informed that the man you seek has a fiancé. Father, that is where you come in as the king. He told me he's engaged. But Father, I know we can stop him. We can make him dump her. Now, wait a minute. Listen, I'm not saying this because you're my daughter, right? I'm saying it because it's true. You are a very beautiful woman. A paragon of beauty, if you ask me. And for any man to see you and still have time for another woman shows how deeply or mad in love he must be with that other woman. I want you to look at this from that angle. Father, thanks for the compliment. But I am sorry to say this. If you don't step in as the king of this land, and give me the man I want. Father, I might as well use my powers as the princess and get him. Well, it's better not to use the power you have than the abuse saying. I would rather advise or advocate that you ponder over this while you sleep. Princess, 
This is rather a very rude entry. Why would you just budge in here without a knock? I'm sorry about that. It will never happen again. Let's just say I was carried away by your chair. That's why I misbehaved and I didn't even think. I'm sorry again. Have a seat. Thank you. How can I help? How come you didn't sleep at the palace last night? Where did you go to? Do you monitor everything I do? I understand you need some money. That's why I brought you this. There is no need to beg for money. Is it that I don't have privacy in this palace anymore? Or you have bugged my phone? I didn't bug you. Then how did you get to know I need money if you haven't been listening to my phone conversation? There is no need to shout. I was by your door and overheard you telling someone to send you money. And there was no need for that. That is why I quickly moved to get you this. Olisa, oh, I don't want you going around begging for money when I have access of it. It's only one thing. Marry me today and I'll have everything my father has transferred in your name. I love you. Why are you making it look like you were begging me for my love and I'm just bluffing? That is not the case. I love you, yes, but it's more of that of a sister. I am not your sister, and you know it. Olisa. Oh, Olisa, oh, have me. Take me. Do whatever that pleases you. I love you so much. I do. Listen, I asked to meet me this time of the night. For us to have a tete a tete, like father and son. What is it, Your Majesty? I am listening. I promise to swear with my staff of office if you make me this promise. What promise, Your Majesty? Why would you want to swear? <laughs> you are not going to be the first. Many men from many races have done it and it worked. What is it? I want you to ditch the woman you have as your fiance to marry my daughter. I'll give you half of my kingdom. And this will be backed by a royal oath. Your Majesty, I have known this lady for many, many years. And I've become so attached to her. I promised to marry her, and I don't see why I should go against my word. I really see you like like your son, and my daughter loves you so dearly. So I would want you to marry my daughter, and have half of my kingdom. It's a promise. Your Majesty, please give me some time to think. Thank you, Melissa. One week, I'll give you. And I think it's enough time for you to reflect on this. Good night. Good night, Jermaine. my money. 
So I've decided to give you myself. Why are you going to refuse me too? Just coming from the throne. I spoke to your father at length about this and he has given me seven days to think. I know that. You would remain in this palace until you decide to be my husband. You're going to hold me here against my will? My fiancée is around and I need to keep her company. I am the one in their need of your company. I know you are not an Enoch, are you? I will have a wonderful time with you tonight. Don't disappoint. You are parading yourself about as your fiance is already engaged to our princess. Yet they are bragging about it. There is no way I am allowing my man to go just like that. No way. No way. I wouldn't let it happen. Let it happen. I can't believe this. So you are actually an Enoch, as they say. God, I have resisted different men of all categories, and all of them wants to do something with me, but I resisted them because I am a princess. I don't want to do what other girls do. Why on earth will you resist me? Let me go and see my fiance. She is missing me. I cannot have anything to do with you because I have the mark of my father on me. You are not going anywhere, Ulisa. I resisted men. And you resist me? I am not resisting you. I'm just doing what's right. Okay? I'm trying to plead you with your conscience. Put yourself in my fiance's shoes that I've not seen for the past four days. She might just think I have abandoned her. <laughs> Is that not wonderful? Huh? It is about time she starts getting used to being abandoned. Because in due time, you will abandon her. I'm only staying here against my will because I don't want to offend your father. <laughs> There is no need talking about my father here. Come on. Let's talk about us. I'm sorry, Princess. There is no us. It's been four days now, and he has not returned home. I, I just don't want to lose my man to that, to that princess. See, I can tell you here and now that your man is your man. He loves you dearly. I'm sorry, but 
I doubt that. I went to that palace personally and I was practically dismissed. I mean, he is a head of that palace. So an ordinary guard cannot dismiss me without him authorizing it. That day you came, I was the one he commissioned to bring you here and I know what he told me. Don't blame him for what happened at the palace. I'm sure he didn't know about it. See, you actually dismissed from the palace because you went through the back door. If you had gone through the main entrance, this wouldn't have happened. I heard the princess actually has someone that wants to marry her. That she's been very excited about. Now, what baffles me is why does she suddenly want my own man? Doesn't you can come down and listen to me? I am by your side. Mulisa told me categorically clear that you are the person he wants. I mean, forget the fact that I always joke, I mean, I play all the time. I am a man of so many sides. If the princess goes ahead to bewitch him into marrying her, I will explore the other side of me. I know definitely he cannot venture into what he's going to regret. Ichi Nabili. Your Highness. I want you to take the princess to a quiet corner and talk to her. If I watch his thinking, it's not what the young man is thinking. And I'm not prepared to trust a princess on somebody who has not declared interest. I already discussed with the princess. And it seems she's very sure that Molisa must marry her. That's not possible. Going by the discussion I had with the young man. In fact, I had to invite him before this throne at the middle of the night and offered half of my kingdom if only he would wipe away my tears to marry my princess. And he had the effort to tell me that I should, I should let him ponder over it. I am surprised to hear this. I mean, that tells you how emotionally attached he is to her. In fact, he values her much more than the kingdom. And to him, the princess means nothing. Father, I disagree with you. I know the bond I have with this man. He loves me dearly. And he must marry me. Let's not make much ado about nothing. What does it take me to invite the young man before us here? And ask him for the last time if he's prepared to marry the princess. And whatever he says become the final verdict. And that of course will save me nights of sleepless nights I'll have to contend with all this while. That will be the best. That is the only option. Yes. I gave you enough time to decide on my daughter. I want to find out what you've decided. My promise is still sure. If you marry the princess, you will earn half of my kingdom. And that automatically makes you the bona fide prince of this uh, kingdom. So now tell me, are you ready and willing to marry the princess? I don't think I need anyone to tell me that the princess loves me dearly. I'm totally aware that she finds me the only one worthy to be her husband. That is the excellent voice of my love. You know, you are everything I've ever wanted in a man. Everything. Apart from what my father promised you, I have a cash sum of 70 million naira. I inherited from my mother. I will give you everything. Your Majesty, my father's spirit lives in me and I abide under his shadow. Permit me, please, to consult my father within two minutes. Once I get back and the princess still wants to marry me, I will abandon my fiancée and marry her. If our two minutes would not be enough for you to consult with your father, you are free to move into any of the rooms and have as much time as you wish and consult with your father. We are not in a hurry. We will be waiting for you patiently. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
told you, he loves me. Is this strange looking guy? If the princess will accept to marry me now, I will assume my responsibility as a husband and claim all that you have promised. Never! You cannot be the man. You can never be my husband! Don't even take that step! Don't! Father, where did you get this man from? Where is he from? belongs to the man that just walked in. I belong to another woman. Thank you, Majesty. Oh, Father, look who we have here. Your Majesty, you're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Father, we'll be upstairs in case you need me. Come on, let's go upstairs to my room. <laughs> Wonderful decision, ever. What is wrong with you? Why are you getting yourself all worked up for nothing? No, let me tell you something. That smile you saw on my face there was not original. It was plastic. I was actually forcing myself to smile. Could you please tell me the meaning of that charade that took place in the living room? That fair guy, who is he? Honey, the, the most important thing now is you mean so much to me. And I am yours, and nothing on earth will change that. I know he means so much, whatever, and that I'm all yours, and whatever. I've been hearing this and all that, but could you please tell me who is he? Because when I was coming in, he was like telling the king that you belong to me and that he belonged to someone else or something like that. Who is he? So why, I'm confused. Tell us, why would you be more interested in what a mere god said? A mere god. That reminds me. He was not even actually dressed like a guard. And come to think of it, the way he was talking to the king with so much temerity. I wonder what gave him the effort to be talking to the king like that. Who is he? Where is he getting his past okay. from? Okay, all right, all right. You win. He is not a guard. He's um, a seer my father employed from Iboko Kingdom. He's not even from this land. And... Um, He's extremely exceptional, no doubt, okay? And he has said so much about us. He's just a seer. He has, he has prophesied, you know, good things about my family, about you, about me. And that's all, nothing more. That's all, nothing more. Jesus, oh God, oh my Silas, Princess, Silas, Silas, stop this. Princess, you break. It is okay, just stop it. You're getting yourself worked up for nothing. Is that what you're saying? Yes, because he's just a seer. Is there a Is anything more what, to what, it? What is seer? What is seer? Everybody's in very high spirit. <laughs> Meaning that people are we all happy here. Yes. Um, on behalf of the Elizabeth Council of the Great Kingdom, 
the greatest kingdom on earth, the body kingdom. Yes. I welcome all of you formally to this auspicious occasion. Um, I'm happy it is happening on a day like this and happening in my lifetime. I trusted Melissa with little responsibility and he proved himself. And because he has proved himself, I'm going to saddle him with more bigger responsibility. <laughs> what am I saying? Elders in Council of this palace decided unanimously that you will be saddled with the responsibility of becoming the heir apparent in my group. I want to announce formally that from now on, you, I am regarding you as my son, and you are going to reign after me by the grace of God. So you now see why we are in very high spirits, and we need this momentous occasion. It is well with you. Thank you. It is well with you. Well with you. So, uh, distinguished invitees, shall we all rise and give them three hearty cheers? Hip, hip, hip! See? 